So, as you can tell from the video title, I finally did it. I finally quit my job as a teacher. And I have to tell you that I don't really know how to explain how it feels. Um, because it all, you know, just happened kind of like in a blur because there were a lot of, um, you know, personal things that were happening at the time. But um, I was able to, you know, go ahead and, you know, plan out our budget and have everything pretty much squared away and how we were going to do things um, without me working full time. And so I put in my resignation. And of course, I already had a position um, for the following school year because I wanted to go ahead and have something, you know, just in case me being home didn't work out. I already, you know, I still had, you know, a job. And um, because there were changes going on at the school that I taught at. And so, yeah, so I put in my resignation and, you know, it was a pretty easy process, even though I started out, you know, clueless, had no idea, like, okay, so how do I actually quit this job, you know, but it was a very easy process and everybody um, worked with me very well and, I mean, which it wasn't a uh, a difficult process like I said and um yeah so the end of the school year came and you know it was just you know that bittersweet moment because you know you're excited about summer vacation and but also um you know with me being home and resigning from my teaching position um it was, you know, the, the bittersweet because, you know, it was exciting because of summer. And then it was like, you know, that sadness because it's like I'm I'm leaving, you know, the schools. I'm leaving all my babies. And um, so they were already, the students, they were already having a bittersweet moment too because, you know, they were all going to different schools because the school was transitioning to an all sixth grade school. So they were all going to um, new schools for the next year. And so it was like a whole lot of them that were just, you know, teary-eyed. And I'm like, y'all, please don't do this. Don't do this. It'll be great. It'll be fine. So, yeah. So it, everything pretty much just felt like normal. And, you know, just getting out of school for the summer and, Yes, and being able to spend time, more time, you know, with my kids um, and my husband to be able to be here while he's here instead of us just passing each other, you know, like we did during the week. And um, so, yeah, so with school um, getting closer, it, it started to really sink in that I'm not. I'm not going back. And the question was asked to me, um, did I feel bad about it or sad? And to be honest, no. <laughs> and it's not like I'm just like, you know what, forget them. But it was just more so like, well, I love, I love being an educator. And I still am. Um, so I'm not teaching in, you know, the brick and mortar, you know, like a physical public school and where I teach now is here so like what you see here is my new classroom <laughs> which is virtual so I teach online so I teach um students in China in China I teach them English um through VIP kid and um I also have my own tutoring service as I have told you all before but um but just in case you hadn't, you know, seen that video, because um, that's from several seasons ago. Um, yeah, so I have AR Learning. That is my tutoring service. But I not only do tutoring, but I do other things, um, like, you know, helping with, you know, careers, you know, prepping, you know, resumes and um, uh, prepping for uh, 
tests that you have to take to get certain jobs, you know, those, um, those occupational tests where they test your, assess your skills and things like that. Um, the ACT work keys is a popular one. Um, but also, you know, help with um, GED prep, um, things like that. And I, you know, have courses. Also, my first one that I launched is money management. And I will give more details on that later. Um, but yeah, so I quit my job. <laughs> so I think it's really just, um, it's just, you know, starting to set in that you, you really, you really did that, Amy. Now we, we're going to make this work, right? <laughs> and I have to say, I love, I love being home. I love it. And, you know, and I hope everything, you know, does work out because I don't want to go back <laughs> because I feel my place is, you know, here at home and I, I love it. And I, I feel more, um, you know, accomplished and, and I know to some it's like, that's crazy. How can you feel accomplished when you're just at home all day? Well, it's not that I'm just kicking back, chilling all day. No, you know, I'm getting things done. I'm managing the household and I'm homeschooling our kids. Um, so I'm, I'm doing things. I'm hands on with our family instead of just, um, you know, just passing by and just, you know, getting things done just to get through the day, even though there are some days where, you know, because, you know, I have to just, you know, get through the day. <laughs> and as a parent, that's any parent, you know, but yeah, but it's not like that is a normal, that's a everyday routine but I'm more hands-on with what's going on here in my house and that's what I love um so yeah so I quit my teaching job but I still teach in the virtual classroom and I love that too um because you know with me teaching I, I like to have fun teaching so I still get to do that <laughs> I still get to um I still get to have fun with teaching and then still making sure that students are learning the materials that they need to learn and that they're building and, you know, growing in areas that they need growth in and, um, and watching them progress and, you know, and watching them realize how much that they're learning. And by the end of each lesson, you know, how much they've grown just in the one session. And, you know, they, they, they love it. And, and of course, this way I can interact and work with a whole lot more students than I would in the public school. Because as a middle school teacher, of course, I had like maybe 100, 120, you know, students a year. And so with, you know, teaching virtually, I interact with, you know, students all over the world. Um, cause AR learning is open to students all over the world and VIP kid is open to students across the world, another side of the world. And so, yes, I get, you know, an even larger reach and that's pretty cool too. So yes, y'all, I finally did it. I quit my job. I am finally a stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home wife, and I love it because being home is a lot of work. <laughs> it is it is a lot of work. It's not just, oh, I quit my job. I'm chilling every day. No, it's now I get to focus on my job, my role here at home, and it is a lot of work, and there's still a lot of things that I thought that I was going to have done by now I haven't gotten it done yet but it's okay I'm working on it <laughs> um because as you all already know I'm expecting also <laughs> so I am pregnant with baby number three so yes yeah, so things are not you know I'm not getting everything done 
as quickly or as you know as much as I would like but it's getting done um because I have some days that I am like super super um uh what's the word that I'm looking for I guess accomplished <laughs> or whatnot um productive that's the word I'm looking for yeah to see y'all that's the thing with pregnancy brain too words just leave my mind but yeah so there are some days that I feel super productive and then there are some days where it's like <sighs> I'll just I I can't today I'll get to it when I get to it I know eventually I will get to it though so I'm not gonna sweat it <laughs> so I have you know of course those days so yeah so like I said I quit my job and I am working from home now because y'all know I've been talking about this for the longest. I'm finally working from home and I love it. And, you know, being hands-on at home and I love that too. So, yeah, so that's what I did. I finally did it and I am so happy and excited about that. All right. Well, I will see y'all in the next video. See you later. Bye.